With SABC One, I worked on the title sequence for Upetinawe too. Uh, oh, that was you! Kwang, that was you. Kwang, kwang, kwang. Ah! What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is a special episode of Kicks and Snares. Uh, today, I'm hanging out with TK. What's good? What's good? Cool. Oh. And I feel like I need to tell you guys why we got to meet. There's this amazing group that was created by PH, Raw X. There's a nice forum happening there every single week. We got legendary producers there. And uh, one of the fellas that I met in the group was T Kid. Uh, we <laughs> spoke on the group, but we chatted a bit. And then he came by, and then he also visited one of my at the Access. Yeah. So today we are gonna break down some of his tracks, man. But before we do that, T Kid, tell us a little bit about yourself, bro. My name is T Kid. Tikit the producer, I'm a music composer, producer, audio engineer. I yeah consider myself a junior still. I've worked with artists like Kitini, DJ Yanga, Maraza, Tamasha. I've worked with brands like Channel Lo, SABC One, um, SABC Two, SABC Three. Damn. Um, I'm just a young bro who's who's just passionate about making music, who's passionate about helping young artists and producers make better music. I'm just overall passionate uh, passionate about creating as a as a whole. Okay, cool. So let's slow it down. Let's bring it all the way back in, right? So you mentioned that you made music for, for the several different people. What does that entail? Right. What did you do with them? What did you do with SABC2 and Channel yeah. O? What exactly? So that people know what's up. Tamasha, I did a song with her called Hottest Boy, which was on her album, her first album. And from there, you know, it just it just became a thing of I need to figure out how to better myself as a music producer instead of just being a, a dope beat maker. So and now tell us more about um, the other stuff that you did on television. Um, so Briefly. with 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 SABC One, I worked on the title sequence for Upetinawe too. Uh, oh, that was you! Kwang, that was kwang, kwang. <laughs> You know how much I love that show, B. <laughs> you did that? That wasn't just me, it was me. It was me. Ah, yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Yo! Nah, so, 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 that song was produced by Gobi Beast. Yes. Yeah, so Gobi sent it. But to why is it, why does it say it's Pay and Naves? Because it's their song. Oh, yeah. you produced it. So we worked on it. Gobi Beast was like the guy on that song. Eddie sent it to me because he touched it, Eddie. Because Eddie and Gobi have a similar sound. Yeah. But like Eddie with the log drum is just. I don't know. The 80s lock drum is different from everyone else's lock drum. So he touched the song and he sends it to me and I touched the song. Then um, I went, I also, Eddie mixed the song and he sent it back to me to master and he sent it back to Spare and Naves. Spare and Naves were like, yeah, we like the master, send the files. And then next thing I hear adverts, I'm like running to the dining room. I'm like, yo, that's my Guys, in a way to studio. But shout out Gobi Beast. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Spare Naves, AD. Yeah, yeah, shout, shout out, out SABC1. Yeah, shout out VI. Shout out Reason, well. Cesar Alakine. And Nye Lady, the, the, the lady that's singing on the song. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was her. And the, there's a full song, actually, with Nye Lady and Reason. Oh, for real? Yeah. It, Yo, a song. shout out, shout yeah, out, shout out, shout out, shout yeah. out, shout out. So if you're watching it at home, just give them claps there in the comments, <laughs> please, guys. Ne? Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We need that as much as possible. Yeah. So today, uh, we're going to do a breakdown. What's the song that we're doing today? Uh, so this song is a friend of mine. His name is Caesar. Mm -hmm. um, he calls himself Caesar SH. The SH is for Sophisticated Hooligan. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Is this out? Yeah, it is out. Okay, um, cool. The song is called The Memo. The Memo. Yeah, and... Basically, this song was one of my favorites because he's, he, I, I sat down with him and he's like, yo, I want to work on a song. And he played me like a few references that he found on YouTube. And mm -hmm. I was like, I hear where you're trying to go, but we could take it this direction. Nice. And I worked on the beats. I'm going to stop um, you right there. Yeah. That's dope. You know, that's, that's one of the key things of being a producer is being a visionary. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of people that don't get about when they engage a producer is that... 
uh, an artist always has an idea in their head. Like, mm. I want to sound like this. Yeah. So, some artists were like, I have a reference. I want to go here. Yeah. And they forget that the producer has actually been sitting there and, and meditating on coming up with something dope. Yeah. You know, sometimes you meet a dope artist and you're like, yo, I actually, if you do this, it might change the rest of your career. Yeah. So I, I like that, the fact that, you know, when, when your client was like, let's do this, and you pull them back, you're like, let's just do this. Yeah. And then it yields a dope result. Yeah. And, and I, I, I always avoid sounding like the YouTube reference. You know, so boom town. <laughs> Let, let's get into it, bro. Yeah, with just the intro. So how I build songs, I work on the melody first, and mm-hmm. then I add the drums after. Just I, I build it up. Okay, before yeah. before we do that, can you can you initiate a uh, screen record? That site. I don't have it. You don't know how to do screen record. Uh no. See, yeah. we're here to teach you. So this brother didn't know. Bongs, just say, can I say hi quickly. <laughs> hey, what's up? Shout I'm out, Bongs River, aka. 37 MPH is assistant okay. slash intern. Let's get it. Boom. <laughs> this is the this is the real content, oh, bro. There's no. I I'm a huge fan of the kick, and 37 knows this. There's a song that he was working on, and I said it's not enough. It needs the kick. So I'm a big fan of kicks, and the kick needs. And for the kick to hit the right way, you need to have an empty space before it comes, so you feel its presence. So this this song is a very dark song. It doesn't have too much going on. So. I literally just had the flutes, this dark piano, and this uh, low synth- uh, synthesizer from uh, Repro. I don't know if you guys know Repro, you, you're not nerds like that. <laughs> but yeah, so I had that, and then I just built it up, and this is the same guy that did my producer tag, so my tag is in the beginning because that's the best space to put the tag. Um, Take us through the, the, the rhythm section, what do you have there? Right, so this beat really doesn't have much going on here. Um, it's the kick, it's the clap, it's the hi hats which make up the beat, and it's the it's the open hi hats, and then the 808. What was the song concept? The idea was he's just trying to say the memorandum is out. This is what we gotta do as hustlers. Cause there's a part where he talks about his brother buying a new car and how that inspires him to go hard. You know, um, how he's shooting his shot and now he's taking all these chances on the, and approaching all these opportunities. And that's really what the song is about. It's it's a memorandum for, for dudes, for homies. Like, yo, let's go out there and get this bread. Mm. Yeah, I gotta stay fly, that's the memo. I'm shooting my shot like commando. I'm back in the city and I got the ammo. Yeah. Okay. okay, these niggas switch up, it's okay though yeah. I stick to the plan, that's the memo Shout out the fam, my bro, my nigga, my dog, my kinfolk I gotta bring it all back home I gotta bring it all back home I gotta bring it all back home, you know Yeah, yeah. uh I gotta go hard, that's the memo I'm shooting my shot like commando I'm back in the city and I got the ammo Wow, Screw yeah First of all, I gotta stay fly, that's the memo It's out there, you always gotta look good to feel good to do good that's the first thing. Once you look good, you go out there, you shoot your shot. Boom. That's the first thing you got to think of when you wake up. How, what's the shot I'm shooting today? What opportunity am I going for today? What goal am I trying to achieve today? You know? Um, and he's from, he's from Richard's Bay, so he's back in the city, as in he's back in Johannesburg. Got you. He's out here to get the Joburg bread. Got you. You know? Got and you. he's taking it all back home. To case it in. Yes. Cool. So is this song is out? Yes, the nice. song is fresh, out. man. It's Thank fresh, you so fresh, much. Fresh, fresh, Thank fresh. you so much. So now, since since you're here, um, I got some questions in from from the Insta fam. <laughs> um, so this is the part of the show we call the African Pan. So T Kid, welcome to the African Pan. <laughs> Come in this side, come in this side. We're missing you there. There yeah. you go. There, there, there we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you got to answer a bunch of questions right. in less than two minutes. Uh, two minutes starting now. I'm going to start my timer. Uh, we want to know how much you know about the African continent. Right. So who is the president of Kenya? Yo, I know his face. I don't know his name. <laughs> I forgot his name, but I know his face, I can tell you that. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kenyatta. Okay, cool. Do you know what a Ugandan Rolex is? No. A Ugandan bah, yeah. a Ugandan Rolex is um a type of street food that you buy, so it's rolled yeah. eggs. Oh. So but they call it Rolex. 
Oh, that's that's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they take a chapati, like a, a yeah. roti. Yeah. And then they put bread and then whatever fillings they sometimes have chicken. Yeah. And they roll it up. That's hard. Yeah, man. Somebody uh, put me on that. I need that. Right, right, right. What is the capital of Nigeria? Lagos. Boom. Um, what is the uh, language spoken in Ethiopia, the primary one? Any language spoken in Ethiopia? I'm sure I know the language, but um, yeah, nah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Harik. I'm Harik. I'm Harik. Yeah, I'm Harik. Um, yeah, but how you know. say is uh, you say uh, Tinestelin, that's hello, or Salamno, that's how you say. I was know. never gonna guess that one. Right, true or false? Um, in Swahili culture, mm-hmm. uh, la- Swahili is a language spoken both Tanzania, Uganda, mm-hmm. uh, you know, throughout the East Africa, and Tanzania, Uganda, and uh, Kenya. Uh, when they say Bantu, is it people? That's a true or false question, right? Yeah. I'll go true. True. Okay, what is the legislative capital of South Africa? Pretoria. Nice. Okay. Last question. Um, who is the African female I've known for the song Wombo Lombo who has just won a Grammy this year? Just a few weeks ago. Who just won a Grammy? I didn't even watch the Grammys. <laughs> um Bes- besides Black Coffee, who won a Grammy? I don't know anyone else that won a Grammy besides Black Coffee. I didn't watch them. Yo, I think Bong's got it for you, man. Help him. Cat. Oh, Doja Cat. No, oh, Angelique Kijo. Oh, nah. I, nah. <laughs> <she wasn't really>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Doja Cat, but that's like. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Wombo Lombo. What? No, I don't know. Wombo, Wombo Lombo, Wombo Lombo, Wombo Lombo. No. Oh. Man, you need to know about more ab- about African. I know, right? So, what's next for you, bro? Um, what's next for me? That's a okay. So, I'm starting a platform. Well, I've started the platform where I'm gonna be helping upcoming artists and producers better themselves as creatives. How I'm doing that? I have emails that I release every Monday. I send out the emails every Monday where I share tips to industry, well, upcoming artists and producers, and I share these tips to them based on my experiences, based on the conversations that I have with brothers like uh, 37MPH here and others. Um, and it's just ways to improve yourself as a, as a producer, as an artist, as an overall creative, whether it's things that are in the industry or things that are more related to personal growth and they help you better yourself within the industry. Yo, that's, big up yourself. Big up yeah. yourself. Listen, man, um, I, I really like your company. I like your vibe. You. Um, and as, as a person, you, oh, you are constantly sharing information in, in as many platforms as possible. Yeah. Um, the person that I had in my studio the other day when we were shooting had your kicks or snare or okay, one of your yeah, 808. It was, it was, it was from my, 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 my drum kit that I'm going to drop. <laughs> do, you, do you know how rare that is? You know, I remember my first couple of months in... I, so I started producing in Cape Town and I moved to Joburg yeah. and Cape Town all the producers and DJs would share all of their sounds yeah. you know like ah rah, yeah. two gigs you know what I mean yeah. in 2003 two gigabytes of sounds was a lot was of sounds yeah. <laughs> so come to Joburg bruv and you walk into someone's studio someone's producing Quick, 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 quick. It's like yo, yeah. let's let's kill all the windows. We don't want you to see what we're using. Yeah. So a, a, and it's really dope to be in a culture where people are sharing information, yep. sharing their sounds, especially. Yep. And I applaud you for for coming up with your own sound pack. Yeah. Please check it out. How do people reach you besides on on social media? How do people get on your mailing list? Um. So I have a sign Can't up see. form. On, yeah, I have a sign up form on all my social Cancel media it. platforms. Yeah, so I have a sign up form on all my social media platforms. That's um, it's it's on my it's on my profile. So that's that's how you reach me if you want to sign up to the email list. But if you just want to work with me, just hit me up info at tkittheproducer.com or just hit me up on my social platforms via DM and um, I'll reach out. I'll reach back. I always do. I always do. I don't ignore anyone. 
Boomtown. Thank you so much for coming through to the stew, man. Uh, thank you for your energy. Um, we're looking forward to hearing more from you. Yep. And I'm sure during this episode, I might have put the sister of Bettina. And I hopefully <laughs> that uh, <laughs> I don't get a copyright strike from the SABC One channel. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all love. I'm, I'm all in love with the SABC fam. Yeah. Uh, let's just check if there's any questions. Um, you see, the on... questions are hard. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, bro. You must know who you're dealing with here. <laughs> Mr. Africa, it's me. Look, look. I'm representing. The Kente yeah, fabric out here. Yeah, bro. But Come shout on. Out Bute, and I know uh, my bro Ayanda is is like the marketing manager there. So hundred percent, man. Yo, so thank you so much for coming through. So thank you for watching this episode. Um, there's another one loading next week. I've got a very special, informative episode for you, for all of you music producers. Most of you guys don't really know how to get paid. This is not a paid ad, by the way. A lot of guys don't know how to monetize their hustle. You know, sometimes we we sign up with Samro, uh, all the collecting societies. I've got a very special friend. His name is James Bassingthwaite, uh, yeah. uh, formerly of, of Thatch music he's the founder of, of thatch music a lot of the stuff that i know as a musical director is because of him mm. um so he knows the game inside out he has spent over six months six to twelve months of his time calling samro calling um all the collecting societies finding out the best ways for producers and composers and artists to to make sure that they earn their correct royalties they're supposed to yeah. so I'm going to be having him on the episode um, so if you want to know anything specific won't you please drop it in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram to find out to get the questions beforehand um, because I'm going to be filming with him on Tuesday mm -hmm. and I'll be dropping the episode next week so looking forward to hearing from you guys thank you so much for supporting the channel yep. much love appreciate it Pow! MP keeps him dancing. <laughs> he only hangs out with the kicks and the snares. He only hangs out with the kick, 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 kicks and the snare. <laughs> I hope this song doesn't exist. <laughs> See, it's a theme song, bro. It is. Yo! Billboard. It has to be cut. Be a full song. No, no, listen, no. listen. That is that. You know, kicks. A, this was my first song I ever re like released. No, it was on the Toto soundtrack. It's called oh. "All in the Name of Fun." Um, this song. Yeah, I MP keeps him dancing. He only yeah, hangs out with the kicks and the snares. He only hangs out with the kick, 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 <laughs> kicks and the snares. Bruv, this is the version. With that, this is how we close the episode. We're gonna close it out with the MP keeps him dancing. See you guys next week. Bye.